Erev Tov, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benuni. You're watching Israeli News Live. Yes, breaking news this evening was indeed the coup attempt on Erdogan's presidency. Was it a staged coup attempt? Something that they claimed that failed that no doubt may have actually been in the plans all along. A NATO plan. And this may explain why we are seeing all the ships that recently left Turkey and headed for the Black Sea. What is really going on? Now, today, what really made me think of this story here was the uh, TASS Russian news agency, TASS.ru forward slash EN in the English language there, is publishing an article that the foreign ministry of Russia is watching very carefully every move that Turkey is making in, in, in regards to that of Syria, how they have invaded into the country. Now, they claim they were going there to remove ISIS out of a bordering town, but they now are driving even further and further in. We also have it reports from a friend of ours on Twitter that now tanks are on the move on rail cars. Enormous number of tanks are being moved in Turkey to the Syrian border. Now, of course, the Turkish government has already taken in quite a number of tanks as it was in order to, to take the little city there across the lines there. But now they're bringing in more and more tanks, and Russia is noticing that Turkey is pushing deeper and deeper. I believe that the coup was a stage from the very beginning, and the reason why they staged this coup attempt, no doubt, was to throw Russia off guard. NATO working together. Remember, as we've reported before on Israeli News Live, that Petro Poroshenko had been at a meeting with President Erdogan in order to take back Crimea. And what I think they're trying to do is to throw Russia off guard. One, get a stronger hold in the Syrian country by putting Turkish troops there. The U.S. already has their own group there. Now Turkey has a mobilized military inside the country. Troops, fighting soldiers, tanks, everything, grad launchers, you name it, they are now inside the country there of Syria. And they did it. The only way they were able to pull this off and put that much inside the country was to fake a, or stage a coup to make it appear that Erdogan was in trouble, believing that perhaps Putin would fall for the bait. And unfortunately, I'm afraid President Putin fell for this bait, and he believed it, and he came to, to uh, Erdogan's aid to establish a, a friendship with him to make it appear that his country was for him. Now, here's the strange thing, guys. We are in Slovakia, in Bratislava, at the foreign minister's uh, meeting that got very little attention uh, globally. It got a little bit of local attention, but it's very little bit of a, of a global attention that foreign ministers were there because Turkey's foreign minister was there as well, and they were discussing bringing Turkey into the European Union. Well, if, if all these countries are so evil in the mind of Turkey, why are they still trying to get into the European Union? They're already a part of NATO. They know if anybody goes to war with them, NATO is required to come to their aid. I also think that the coup was staged in order for America to relocate nuclear weapons and other parts of Europe there to be able to launch a preemptive strike on Russia. That's what it's beginning to look like. And that's, this is an op-ed, guys. I'm just telling you my opinion as I'm watching this all unfold. There, it's not that Russia is the one going to do the preemptive strike. I can see NATO setting up a stage and a trap for Russia. By Turkey getting all this equipment inside of Syria now, it'll be easier and faster for them to overthrow the country there. It'll be faster for them to overthrow Bashar al-Assad. Because why? They believe that if Turkey has reestablished a relationship with Russia, then, Tur then Russia is more inclined not to strike back on Turkey. But Putin's going to have to. If he doesn't soon, those troops are going to be on the doorsteps of his own bases there in Turkey, and he's going to be overthrown as well. It's a serious situation, and we can see World War III is at the doorsteps. It is on the door of Russia right now. All these moves being made to counter Russia, a staged coup, no doubt. And the funny thing was, I looked up just to see if anyone had ever thought this before. There is a man named Fatula Gulen. The Guardian reported, Turkey coup may have been staged by Erdogan regime. Now that's exactly what this man actually states. And uh, he says, the reclusive cleric blamed by President Recep Tayyip Erdogan for a failed coup in Turkey has said the uprising by members of the country's military could have been staged by the government. In a rare and brief interview on Saturday with a small group of journalists at his residence, 
Salisburg, uh, Pennsylvania, Gulen rejected all accusation that he was behind the coup attempt. The U.S. was looking for a fall guy. And that's the fall guy they chose right there. I agree with the man. I believe that he was set up from the beginning. He was never involved with a coup attempt. It was done in order to throw Russia off. Remember, what does the scripture say in Daniel chapter 11 about the king of the north? The king of the north, guys, is not Russia. Every time biblically in history, the king of the north has always been either a Roman or a Greek leader. It must be a Roman leader that rises up at this end time. I believe it will be a pontiff. Now, that, um, don't hold that 100%, but I'm telling you, I believe, it's the, I believe it's the Pope of Rome, and he's the one that calls the shots. Okay, so this whole thing has been a setup from the very beginning. And it says in the biblical account about that king of the north that tidings out of the north and out of the east trouble him. Well, Russia is the furthest point north. All right, Italy has to be the king of the north, but not the furthest point because now the king of the north is saying tidings out of the north. In other words, further north of him is troubling him and out of the east. And what happened recently when China said they were going to send troops in to help Bashar al-Assad? That became a major concern for the west. They had to come up with a plan. Don't forget President Putin. I speak to you directly on this. What did, what, what did Petro Poroshenko say in the Ukrainian news? He stated that he met with Erdogan and that they discussed how to take back Crimea. And now we have this huge ship movement. No military drills mentioned. But they see the ship movements on radar there coming out, headed into the Black Sea. And now not only has Erdogan in, invaded into Syria without the government's consent, but they're also on train cars today. Tons and tons of tanks are headed to the Syrian border. This is the military of President Erdogan, hoping that for just a little while, that President Putin would buy this fake or this staged coup attempt in order to get a stronghold there in the land. Guys, it is going to go bad, and I'm afraid this will bring about a third world war. It is still, it still comes back to Ukraine is the, is the trigger. Crimea is the trigger of this war. Why else then would Turkey send their ships towards Crimea in the Black Sea? They're supposed to stage it. It's supposed to look like Turkey's doing it. Why? That way NATO can say they had nothing to do with this. But they've been majorly involved in it from the very beginning. One more story I want to share with you quickly happening in Israel. Where we are at right now, we are in Israel. We haven't got up to Jerusalem as of yet. Uh, I had a couple of things I needed to cover uh, down in Tel Aviv and also up near the Syrian border as well before I can make it up to Jerusalem. But the uh, Dutch MP, uh, the parliament from the parliament ministry there, Kazoo, uh, a pro-migrant activist, refused to shake hands with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu during Netanyahu's visit to the Dutch parliament. Kazoo, uh, uh, he also wore a free Palestine pin and later wrote on a Facebook explaining his actions as condemning the Israeli leader for the 2014 war with Hamas. While the streets of Gaza were reddened by blood, that splashed out of the veins of children. In the summer of 2014, the red carpet is rolled out, he states. Uh, at here, that deserves no handshake, but a reference to a, a pen saying, Free Palestine, states Kazoo on this. Now, I might just make a mention here on that. Again, another opinion when it comes to this. I guess Mr. Kazoo doesn't want to blame the Palestinian soldiers that grab up a child or stand behind children as they fire their guns at the Israeli soldiers intending on seeing the deaths of these children. That's the crime, the real crime. He shouldn't be shaking the hands of the Palestinians and he shouldn't be wearing the pin, free Palestine. I am for one state, an Israeli state, and I think that the Palestinian people should have a right as Israeli citizens, as one nation here, to vote as well and be a part of the same nation. You know, I, I riding with a man today, uh, a cab driver, who said to me, at one time we had very good peace in this country between Palestinians and, and, and Jews alike, Israelis. He said, but 
why has all of a sudden this all changed? I've heard that from Palestinian and Jewish cab drivers alike that I've known that have been drivers their entire lives that tell me these stories. At one time, there was peace. It seems like somebody else in this world doesn't want peace. And that somebody else, also in Daniel, wants to build his little castle here, right here in the Holy Land. But don't forget, according to the prophecy in Daniel 11, he's going to enter in with all of his ships, all of his, all of his chariots, all of his horsemen, everything. That was interesting when he says all of his horsemen. That's right. It looks like all four horses are going to come in here. The one with the balances, the, the one with the bow in his hand. Every one of them are going to come in here. And the green horse as well, the pale horse rider. He'll bring in his Arab armies as well, as he's doing now. He's riding those Arab armies right now to do the war. And what does it say? That they're coming in and they're going to overthrow many in the countries. It's in Aratzot, the plural in the, language, in the Hebrew language right there. It wasn't speaking about coming in Daniel 11 to overthrow Israel. It was speaking about coming to overthrow all the nations around and because the problem in the king of the north's eyes is that guy from the north country and from the east he's talking about president putin and that of president xi out of china i'm stephen benoon you're watching israeli news live the turkish coup was staged <laughs>